starting a new school from scratch, from um, absolutely nothing, was an enormous privilege. Quite a challenge as well, but a very exciting challenge. My main concerns were the fact that it was new, so there wasn't anything to base, you know, just anything, any the history, there was no history, so I wasn't sure what to expect. From the outset, um, we tried very hard to build relationships and talk about past experiences in other schools where although the school was brand new, we weren't brand new in teaching or leadership. I was always very clear with the staff and the, the parents and, and the, the children to an extent that the most important thing was the teaching and learning and whatever happened, we had to get that right and everything else would come into place later. The teachers, the staff, reach you know the meetings that they held beforehand really reassured us and I felt confident in what they were going to bring to, to my son's education. We did things like consult with them about the uniform, we consulted with children about the class names, um, so actually parents could come on board on the journey and, and very early on it was about the journey starts here for these children, they're four years old, this is their first kind of experience of school. With anything new there's going to be challenges but they proved to overcome those challenges. You know everything that Reach and the school Robert Fitzroy have said they're going to do, they have done um, and that's made parents um, even more committed. The great thing about the Reach to Academy Trust and its USP, if you like, is the fact that it's been um, set up and developed by outstanding primary heads who have been there and done that. But at the same time, it's very clear that um, you are able to kind of make your own way, forge your own path, do what's right for your school in your area, but have that um, invaluable um, experience behind you to help when you need it. One of my passions really is the learning environment and I strongly believe that the learning environment is the, is the child's third teacher. So their parents are their first and then they obviously have their class teachers, but the environment can be a teacher. What I want for those children when they walk through the door is just to feel that they are in this amazing place so that they want to come back every day and they want to learn. He's so happy to come to school. He's, he's he doesn't want to leave, he even wants to go to activity clubs after school. We want them to be focused learners, um, resilient learners, aspirational learners. We need to be able to give them the tools that they need to be able to fulfil their potential. I really would like our children to come in at four and leave at eleven and be able to reflect on their time at this school and be able to say, I had the greatest time of my life.